We gon' run it, hit the field, blast off, watch them all fall. This is AFC North Talk. Got me hype, it's about to be a touchdown. Got the Ravens, Steelers, Bengals, and the Browns. Are you listening? It's time to get it hype. Tune in when the season popping. Yeah, we going live. Hey, knock them out. Ay, first down, going hard. Yes, indeed. Ay, AFC North Talk. Let's go. Ay, AFC North Talk. Welcome to another edition of ASC North Talk. Here we are, a couple weeks from draft day, getting getting exciting time. I love draft, by the way, draft week, draft day, all the drafts, fan of them. Uh, third day, I don't know about you guys, I don't watch it as much. I If I know a pick is coming, then I'll, I'll tune in and watch it, but I'm not like glue. First round, definitely, and we'll be streaming here live. Second second round, we I also tried to watch as much as I can, and then the third round. Uh, the that, draft is a great party device, right? Where you can get around with some hardcore football fans mm-hmm. and just have an excuse to talk ball, like because we not real. It's like kind of like the most low stakes that it gets because it's not like you're gonna miss like a big play. You're just like, hey man, what's gonna pop on that ticker? And if you miss what pops on the ticker, it's okay. You gonna find yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so round table real quick. What happened last week? Uh, Van Noy got signed for the Ravens. We just signed today Deontay Harty. Uh, he used to be a Pro Bowl returner, wide receiver. He's gonna be a returner for us since we lost our main returner. We have Wallace. Wallace returned a little bit last year. He's nothing special on the return side, although we had that game winner. Punt return that he did. He did that one. Uh, that was a standing blocking, though, although he stayed up to that. Let me get him some credit. He did a good job in that return. Um, so, but, but, but no, I think it was important when you lost Giovanni and Clowney. You guys know that Feoe, so that Feoe, oh, Jawa, we're talking about before the, draft, we, before the stream, we were talking about Mims having glass ankles. Ojabo. Y'all been talking about David Ojabo for like yeah. three years. I, I'm like, when is he going to arrive? You know what I mean? Like, it's the like with Ojabo. He debuted Mordecai. He's like, when is he going? He's had so many vignettes. Like, when's he going to debut? Ojabo's been in the league for two years, right? His first year, he blew his ACL in the combine, so we thought he was not going to play. He played the last week of that year against the Bengals. He oh, yeah. stripped, fumble, uh, Burrow. Okay, cool. It's fine, fresh your year. Then last year was supposed, okay, you're healthy now. Week two gets hurt, done for the year, right? Uh, and then week one, I think he also had a strip fumble. So he shows flashes, you know, he entices you, but he's never available. A bit of a tease, man. He, is he a pressure king? Is he is he one of those? No, he, he gets there. The problem is he's never <laughs> in it because sure he's always hurt. He's always hurt. Uh, he, he doesn't play. It's not like he's a tease that he's there with pressures. I wish he was that. It's he's never in the field. He can't be. He's always two hurt. Years I could divide. In two years, <laughs> three days. Three That's games. The he is. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I agree. So, uh, so I know it was important. I know it was two important. years, I could divide. That's what you said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got it. <laughs> That's about a one hot tackle every two years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. So, and then yeah, you have Robinson. Yeah, even in the year that the Ravens have impeccable health, he still got hurt. That's, that's yeah. You know, that's him. So, next year, so what can you say about a job? We'll see if he's on the field. That's all you can say. We'll see. You can't count on him. Is he it's two years. Where like every all season, I'm getting told, "Hey man, Tyus Bowser, this is about to happen, y'all." Remember every year, the Tyus Bowser hype. Oh yeah, Tyus, yeah. Oh, Tyus don't sleep was on weird. Tyus. Don't sleep on Tyus. Cute. Is Tyus still in the league? He I well, he, he got he got he got, cut, he got cut this year by the Ravens. He got rid of him. I'm like, it's about a time. I don't know what else you need to. Say. All I say, Jim Harbaugh finally, John Harbaugh finally slipped on Tyus Bowser after yeah. telling him for three years. Don't sleep well, on Tyus Bowser. So, so it was very interesting. Last year, 
he nobody really knew what happened to him. He was never in the injury reserve. But they, so so early in the year, Harbaugh said, like, "Oh yeah, he'll be ready in week one." Uh, and then I don't know what happened. He's like, "Oh, we're gonna put him in the pup. He'll be ready." And then he never came. He, nobody talked about Ty Spicer. There was some weird beef there, and he never came. And they cut him at the end of the year. So um, yeah, they just cut him. Wow. March why yeah. do people keep signing Miles Boykin? Like, what, what's going on? Why is that? Like, a, I don't need a notification for that dog. Who, who's who signed him? Who signed Miles him? Boykin signed somewhere. Like, when's the last time Miles Boykin did anything? He's a uh, good special teamers. Oh my god, that's Miles it. Boykin. Hey. Where's he signed? He you signed know? the Giants, and I'm like, why are we getting? Why am I getting an alert about Miles Boykin? Like, how do we? Yeah. That's not that's not front page news. The they Ravens do. do a really good job of having bad wide receivers that stay in the league forever. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. hey. Shout out to James Prochet. Still on the Browns. Yeah. Right? Brown. He's a brownie. <laughs> and he's your return guy too, right? Uh-huh. Pump return guy. Yeah. Oh, kickoff is a different guy. He's a yeah. great gunner. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. uh, he he is a great gunner, but yeah. <laughs> He is he a great guy. Gunner. You don't even get. He just can't. We don't even use him at his best position. We use him at the position y'all benched him for to put Duvernay in. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I like the guy. I wish him the best. I guess. Uh, I think their gunner is going to be used now that the kickoff is like. Well, for punts, for punts is the only thing. They're still gunners in the in the kickoff. But yeah, I look, I agree. Anyway, the annoying one, you need a veteran there, right? We you guys always joke how we have a 30 something plus guy that is productive. There it is, Vanoy. Question is, can he do what he did last year? Last year he was great for us. Both him and Clowney. Uh so hey, can he replicate it? That's the question. Owe, Owe, you know, I don't think we're gonna pick the fifth year option. So it's Owe gonna emerge, you know, being a contract year for him. Um it's going to be interesting. But other than that, I don't think anything else happened in the AC North. Have you guys? Yeah, there, was, uh, there was some uh, Josh Allen extension. We got a super chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Josh Allen, Allen got extended today. Um, I don't think it was an overpay. I mean, pass rushers, that's just, that's just the cost of doing business, man. This is a passing league. Um, if you can rush the passer, which Josh Allen had a great season last season, you got you to pay, dog. So, like, to me, that's just – Kind of the going rate for pass rushers. I don't know what the guarantees look like. 88. Uh, 88. How much is it? How much? 88. 88? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not bad, but, I mean, he's a young player. He's an ascending player. He, he's coming off of a career season. Yeah, you guarantee three years. I don't know, but, I mean, he just – I mean, I know that Jags fans tweet this. I'm not going to, I'm not saying that he's on Miles Garrett's level, but they're always like, Oh, he had more sacks last year. And isn't that so like, if he, <laughs> if he really put the numbers up, like if they paid him, I, I guess, I mean, it's not like he, it's not like he only had like nine or 10 sacks and they were like, Oh, we're cashing you out. I guess is my point on that. It's like, he at least finished, you know, at the top of the league in sacks. So what do you expect? I mean, it's, it's kind of the rate of, of what it is. Ace, you remember in, in like mid the mid two thousands, there would be something called like the Darius Miles contract, or you know the, the the Ricky Davis contract, the Baron Davis contract. Like this is a contract that you sign, and you got to sign if you're the Jaguars. Mm -hmm. But it's a catch twenty two because you only sign Josh Allen at thirty million dollars a year, well twenty eight million dollars a year. Because you need to sign Josh Allen for $28 million a year, but signing Josh Allen to $28 million a year is not something that a championship level team does, right? Like he he's a good edge for sure. He's a good player. He's not mm -hmm. like that, right? And it's just you gotta pay. Like that's just what you gotta pay. Um, now who knows? The cap's always going up. I don't know how much cash the Jaguars like this man that really like how teams operate with the salary cap really matters to me more than how much money they're signing individuals players for. Cause the Browns, I mean, we talked about it here where we're on AFC North talk. We're talking about the Bengals and the Ravens maybe having to be less aggressive in the off season because of some upcoming common contract situations for them. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the Browns are still going out and trading for Jerry Judy a couple of years after everybody told me that the contract situation is going to be unlivable with Deshaun Watson. So 
you know, it, it depends on how how much cash they're willing to spend, how much money they're willing to throw at the problem. Um, but you know, if they're not willing to do what Philadelphia, what San Francisco, what Cleveland is doing with the cash and the cap, then there's going to be a contract that they probably going to want to get off of sooner than later. Not that Josh Allen's bad. Twenty eight million though, like we talking about T.J. Watt, we talking about Miles Garrett, we talking about. Um, I cannot. I always forget bro's name. Max. Crosby? Max Crosby, yeah, Max Crosby. Like we talking about dudes who are are that level. I think he's more no disrespect to Trey Hendrickson, but like he's more like that Pro Bowl level edge. Like we kind of see him in the same light that we see like a Trey, not really like a Micah, not really like a Miles, not really like that. Uh, so yeah, it's a steep price. But I mean, if you Jacksonville, you gotta pay it because this is the top defensive game. contracts currently. Nick Bosa, thirty four per year. Oh my God! Chris Jones, thirty-one point seventy-five per year. Woo! Brian Burns, they just got signed. That's nuts. Um, that deep tackle money has gone crazy. Yeah. Brian Burns is number three. Twenty-eight point yes, two. Who signed and then, him? Uh, uh, Panthers. What's his- Pan- no, no, no. Oh. Panthers trade him. Panthers trade him. Oh, you said Brian Burns. I thought yeah. you were saying the D tackle that just got extended. That right. has to be a bad team that signed Brian. Burns. Let me see who it was. Oh, the Giants. Okay. Yeah, the Giants, yeah, the Giants. Got they it. they just love waste of buddy. Like, <laughs> and then Josh Allen is the fourth with twenty eight, tied with yeah. T.J. Watt with twenty eight, and then Christian Wilkins at twenty seven and a half. Hey man, yeah, Miles Garrett is twenty five, looking yeah. like a steal. <laughs> oh, Miles Garrett is is underpaid right now. Oh. Oh, not for long. <laughs> we will enjoy this for one more year. And then we're going to have to pay. What teach, What? What? Nick Mosa got? 33? 34. 34. That's what it says. 34 per year. Well, Miles might get 38. Oh, my God. <laughs> 34 is crazy for Nick Bosa. I mean, Nick Bosa is great, but I feel like Nick Bosa is always kind of hurt, too. I mean, his brother's really hurt. Joey's always and, hurt. Um, Derek Brown just signed a four-year, ninety-six million. Yeah, that's what the his that was the Panthers. Was like Twenty-four. It's yeah, the DT market is going crazy. Like I expect to see that for edge rushers, but the DTs is kind of getting. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, another super chat here says, "Are you guys doing the live reaction to that? We will be here during the draft. We're probably gonna kick it a little bit after the draft starts, so we don't have to deal with the whole BS of Roger Cadell talking there for like." 15 minutes uh stay tuned obviously hit the like button and we uh, always the bell. try to get started about a few picks before yeah, yeah. The AFC North team which is going to be the Bengals this year so the the first pick yeah so this the whatever 14 so well, probably like eight we probably gonna yeah like nine hey what is pick one are y'all gonna be surprised when Caleb Williams starts walking down there nah <laughs> so we'll probably kind of yeah between pick eight and ten somewhere there we're gonna be kicking it live and we'll react yeah, to the picks. The draft, man. I don't mind jumping on early, but if um if if uh we do start like if Sunny saying eight to ten is cool, I don't mind jumping on early because you never know. Like honestly, think the Bengals with this draft, somebody's trading up in that top three. Am yeah, I- that that's the thing though. This year, somebody might do something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you you make sure you follow us. We'll, in, in you know the alert will come once once we're dr- live. JJ McCarthy, dog. Like I don't know. It's, yeah, we want to be live for when somebody takes yeah, JJ McCarthy. That's right. We're throw the Vikings are like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I hear the Broncos are looking hard to see if they can trade for JJ McCarthy. There, I read a rumor. That they're willing to give Patrick Sertan and two first mm. to jump and get JJ McCarthy. That's crazy. What? Man, I, yeah. I know the Vikings are planning on doing something, but I. Ain't it crazy how much just somebody wearing a college uniform inflates their draft stats? <laughs> Like, if you put Trace McSorley in a Michigan uniform last year, all of a sudden, Trace McSorley might be in the top 10. That is what JJ is. He's Trace McSorley. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I look, I, I was all these people hyping up, uh, with Joe Milton, and I was like, Look, man, somebody's gonna take Joe Milton, but I need y'all to understand this is basically like drafting what was his name? Um, oh my goodness, like, How- not Cardell Jones. Um, he went played at Texas, Kellen Mond. It's like, oh, you God. can sign Kellen Mond right now, it's the <laughs> same thing. 
But that college jersey just make you make you drafting your dreams, dog. Like these teams be trading for their dreams. Like I dream JJ can be this thing. That ain't what JJ is. Shout out to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Took a dream at twenty six uh, with Kenny Pickett. At least he didn't reality, trade up. Disappointing. At least he didn't trade up to give them points, but. Hey, this man, is, this that quarterback is like that, nine times out of ten, you know that quarterback like that when you take him. Hey, Ace, were you wondering if Joe Burrow was going to work out? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. How long did it take you to figure out Lamar was good? <laughs> Sonny, uh, like... we, the second time that he played, I was like, damn, this guy's special. But what I was going to say <laughs> here is. From, hey, he has to sit a year to, hey, man, yeah, get black your black the fuck up yeah, out of here. Yeah. <laughs> like, so so my, my main thing. The Browns in overtime. <laughs> my, my main thing with these quarterbacks is, look. First of all, I, I watched Kayla a couple of games of Kayla Williams this year. He looked okay. I, I liked him better when I saw him years before. Um, I saw a, g- a game of Mays, and I was like, mm, okay, whatever. Uh, I haven't seen the kid from LSU play at all, right? Like, I, I haven't. And then J.J. McCarthy I saw a couple of games, and I was, okay, he was okay. But my point is, when, the, when college, this is what, the part that I don't get is, how when college ends, right? Like all the games, the championship game ends, and you have a guy as a second rounder. What happened that he didn't have to play any games and he goes from the second round all the way to fourth? Like I can see a couple picks here. Like maybe this guy was a mid first and people are like, well, the only chance I can get is get him in the early first. I get that. But from the second round all the way to the fourth or fifth of world, that's like, he was hey, people, the people, not got this right. May, people not comfortable with Drake May. The Drake May concern. Is it because of Trubisky? I feel like Drake May has caused this. Because I feel like people are like, all right, I'm good with Caleb. I'm good with Jaden. I don't know about Drake May, dog. And that I don't know about Drake May has opened it up to um, the J.J. McCarthy's, the Michael Penixes. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just kind of opened it up. I haven't yeah. watched enough about Drake May. But I'm just listening to the discourse and nobody is like somebody's either like there's like one guy that's like, yeah, I'm all in on Drake May. I might even take Drake May over Caleb. And there's like five other people that are like, I, I'm not sold on Drake May. The problem with Drake May is that people kind of pop them up as if like when I tell you this. You're going to be disappointed, but it's the absolute truth about Drake May. And it's the same reason Drake May should go in the top 15 of the draft. When I watch Drake May, I'm like, oh, he reminds me of a very younger, a younger version of what Jimmy Garoppolo was as a prospect coming out of Eastern Eastern Illinois. Really quick processor, super, super accurate thrower. Not a great athlete, but a good enough athlete at his size. And he's bigger and younger. So there's some signs that he can have a little bit more upside than obviously Jimmy Garoppolo did in the league. And also, I think people forget when Jimmy Garoppolo came out in 2013, 2014, we was not talking about him like we talk about porn star Jimmy now, right? Like it, it was <laughs> it was so- very different. We had a lot of we thought he could take Brady's spot, right? Yeah, Urban Meyer yeah. says the best college quarterback prospect I've ever seen. But when you gassed up somebody and you're talking about, oh, this dude could be taken over Caleb Williams, who is putting together some of the most spectacular things you've ever seen on a football field. Mm-hmm. And then you look at Drake May's tape and you're like, it's in the ACC and it don't really look like that. So I think people just kind of get a natural letdown. But I think that natural letdown is letting them talk themselves out of what's going to be a pretty decent player um, at the quarterback position. And if you're talking yourself into J.J. McCarthy but out of Drake May. Can you imagine if the commanders take J.J. McCarthy at two? I can't imagine it. They're the commanders. Yeah, like, I, sure. imagine, <laughs> look, I, I still have not let go of the fact that I think the Bears are going to fuck this up. <laughs> yeah. Bears, you got the Raiders out there waiting. Like the Raiders can move up. Like there's look the Bears. The crazy thing with the Bears, let's say they had Caleb, right? They traded for Keenan Allen and they have um DJ Moore. So they don't need a wide receiver like like in the first round. That's but crazy. one of the top tackles might slip to them. That's the other thing. Let me ask you guys. Who's your wide receiver one? Is it Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin. Or his neighbors? Marvin. Mar- I saw enough of all. I saw Marvin I two years ago. I don't think it's a foregone conclusion, dog. Dude, but yeah, it's, it's, look. Marvin looks amazing. Every Marvin time I saw Marvin. Marvin does 
all that wide receiver stuff, like when you when you, like all the tiptoe catches, all mm-hmm. the spectacular stuff, all the and then his name is Marvin Harrison. So like I, I'm I'm inclined, but also then you when you see Malik Neighbors is Malik taking neighbors and you 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 see him go from zero to one hundred in like less than a half a second, and you like, God damn. That look like Odell Beckham. <laughs> yeah, but, but I see Marvin for every every year, like but every single time, year. Honey, have you watched Malik Neighbors? Have you no, I have No, 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 I have No, I don't watch Malik Neighbors, dog. Like yeah. Marvin Harrison Jr. is amazing. So is Malik Neighbors. But they have, to me, it, it, it's kind of like, what do you want? Do you want a guy that's going to be able to go from zero to 60, like you was saying, in open space? Because if you're comparing them in open space, like feel it, it's not close. If it's you Malik neighbors, but if you're just saying overall complete receiver, it's probably Marvin Harrison Jr. But if, if yeah, if you don't have a bunch of wide receivers on your team, like if your wide receivers are trash mm-hmm. and you just need somebody to throw the ball to draft Marvin Harrison Jr. He's going to get open. He's going to catch the ball. I know that, right? Like, there's nothing I'm worried about translating. Now, if you do have a loaded wide receiver room, and maybe you have somebody in that wide receiver room that you know you can get a first down out of on third and six. Ooh, Malik Navis looks very interesting because you... <laughs> well, that 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 if you got somebody basically, if you have somebody who can win a backside dig, and then you can have him on that front side slant or that front side post. Oh, just, ooh. Nice. The, more, the more I think about it, though, thinking of like the receivers that Sonny likes, he would like Marvin Harrison Jr. because he's six three. He's a bigger receiver. Uh, Sonny wants somebody just go up, get it. And exactly. Like, Marvin people will like, go up and get Malik, it. Malik is more like Jamar Chase or Jettas, bro. Like that's yeah. that's how good he is. Like it's like comparing Jamar Chase, Chase to like what D Hop was. Like that's yeah. kind mm-hmm. of like oh D Hop. He just he 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 a wide receiver. Like he is. You can just yeah. spam. I appreciate both. I appreciate both in the case for the Ravens. Actually, you know, there's a couple different players. The Sunny here has a little altar. And I've been having my little candles for a like a go get a receiver. Like say Flowers is my space guy. I need a guy that a 50-50 ball, he goes and out, out wins yeah. the ball. Um, hey man, if they, they don't get a diss draft for you, Sonny, they ain't never going to do yeah, no. no. You agree because there's so many talk guys. Yeah, COVID you know, like, you know, like, like, it, be like, nah. <laughs> like, uh, do, you, do you feel like Marvin Harrison Jr. like refusing to work out, refusing to do? I didn't anything? like that. I I hated that. Like that's the part of it that makes me wonder. Like, could because it's very close. It's like AJ Green, Julio Jones. That's the best comparison yeah. that I can give you. It's close. It's not like there's a definitive no i got you i got you who who's like, in the top five though because like i think it really i think it depends on how i don't like by the way people. i'm gonna say this right now i do not like the kid from washington i don't, I don't know the other the guy Cardinals that's the third guy where they're at though like there's the cardinals oh, there's the Chargers. Yeah, i'm not, not a fan of him the cardinals the charge they've even had the patriots take one of them and i'm just like i can't nah, see them no way them. With their you came out and said that they're getting up. Nah, see, I can see the Patriots getting Marvin Harrison because they stink. Yeah. And they whoever if it was it Joe, not Joe Flacco, Jacoby Brissett out there. But if you if, if you're getting if you're getting Marvin, might as well trade back, right? Because you're gonna suck regardless and then do what the Bears did, then hopefully the next year they can come and get your guy. And you got Odoons just sitting there too. You got Yeah, Odoons I'm not a fan of there. him. I'm not a fan of him. I'm now, not if you're the Bears, and I know you got Keenan Allen, I know you got DJ, I know, I know you got good wide receivers. Get the fat dog, guy, Q. If Malik, huh? Get the fat guy if you're the Bears. Mm, I understand the urge, <laughs> but if Malik Navis is there, oh well. well, well. Malik, and let's <laughs> let's say the Titans, the Titans are picking there too. Let's say the Titans already took Joe out. Oh yeah, I'm taking Malik Neighbors or oh, Marvin Harrison Jr. Like, because I'm not can you imagine him. Caleb Williams running right and his fast ass? I'm here. <laughs> like, no, I think Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow or something. Like, oh my god! Like you can see something crazy from that combination. So I have a question for y'all. And so they might pick, be trying to do that, right? They might be trying to do the Bengals thing. If we talk about pick four and five, right? There's Arizona and there's the Chargers. The Chargers definitely think that they can compete now. Arizona, I think they think they can compete now. Do you think they should stay put and go whatever receiver, right? The Chargers will be whoever is left from Arizona. Both receiving cores are depleted. I cannot name you any Arizona Cardinals 
uh, receiver. And the guy for the Charger, which is uh, Johnston, right? Remember from last year? He was so bad last he year. Not good. He not was good so year. bad last year. So both depleted. Should they trade back or should they go ahead and grab the receiver? Because both of them think they can compete. But they're receiving our bear. And I don't even know their tight end are that good either for the both teams. Justin Herbert, you can trade back and get some wide receivers in the late first yeah. and in the second and be fine because Justin Herbert's pretty good. Okay. Well, Kyler, if Marvin's there, you take him because that you need that to make Kyler work. Like that, that we saw it with D Hop, right? Like just yeah. you need that for Kyler. Not to say that Kyler's not good, but he's he's not the type of quarterback that can transcend not having the best wide receiver. Right. So and he scrambles a lot. He he can't really see that well in the pocket. Like you need to give him somebody he could spam that ball to. And that would be the greatest gift for him. You could open up a bunch of stuff, use his legs, all that kind of stuff. So if I'm Arizona, yeah, you gotta take you gotta take Mark. And then but, Chargers take back. Yeah, but if you're Chargers, you can live with trading back and getting Keon yeah. Coleman, trading back or getting Xavier Leggett, or maybe even pairing him with the, like Ricky Pierce Hall or yeah, something like that. And living. This this receiver class is insane, bro. It's they're probably like 17, 18, 19 <laughs> receivers deep. I think so, for the Raven, they should double 14. up. Yeah, 14. Yeah, exactly, Q. 14. 14 mm -hmm. is a great comparison. A lot of yeah. people sleep on 14. Yeah, that year, you know who did not drive our receiver? <laughs> oh, you and I both. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't think we did either, but we are, in our defense, we already had. We had AJ Marvin Jones and Sanu, so we weren't looking for one. But that's cool. Yeah, that, that class was crazy. We know what happened in seventeen. <laughs> I, remember, I, remember taking, I remember taking OBJ, and people were like, "Oh, so you just gonna hoard this dude?" Like, I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm taking. I'm gonna it's, keep OBJ." I, I said it before. The Ravens were supposedly trying to get OBJ and um, Zach Martin. And uh, and Aaron Donald. Those are the three P team, three oh. players that the Ravens were trying to target. And Darnold, uh, Donald went early, like top ten, yeah. right? He went I think 14. it was fourteen. Okay, and yeah. then okay, so they basically went together. So he was there. OBJ also went not that like not 13. that. Yeah, and then Zach Martin went the pick before us, mm -hmm. and then we got CJ Mosley, which he wasn't a bad pick, but. Bad. I see. What's oh, on? Mr. Fourth and Twelve, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, imagine having two picks in that first round. Raven, Bengals, Bengals. Oh, that's right. The Browns had two I picks. I forget. Uh, imagine I starting that draft with the top five pick. Imagine. Um, imagine starting you that draft. Had Donald and um Miles. Mm -hmm. Y'all, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> A lot could have happened, Sonny. A lot could have happened if we would, we, you know, hell, if we would have just took Sammy Watkins like we were supposed to, it would have been, it would have been better than what happened. <laughs> okay. and you guys took Gilbert? Where we took, uh, we took Justin and we took Johnny. Oh, man, let me see. Johnny, that's right. That's the Johnny. might have been the Denar year. Yeah, that was the Dark West Denar year. That Dark was West. West. Uh, look, we all made some Jeremy mistakes. Hill in the second round seemed good at the time until that Pittsburgh plan. take. I don't know. Did they even have a first that year? Wait, did they get the dude that was in the subway commercials that year? Was oh yeah, yeah. They took no, they took Shazier. I think they took Shazier. Okay, okay. so they, they just Shazier got track. hurt. That just made it worse. Did they get Jarvis Jones well. though? Because that was nasty. Oh, Jarvis Jones was 2013, wasn't it? Yeah, subway <laughs> commercials. That's all that man did. Because I remember Jarvis Jones was supposed to be like a top five pick. And then I remember watching Jarvis Jones at Georgia being like, oh, I heard this dude going to be top five. And I looked at him like, he does not look that impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and then I watched him like, oh, I don't know if they're right about this one. Yep, 2013. They did get Le'Veon in that draft, though, so that made it worth it. But That 2013 draft was so weird. Shamarco Thomas, Marcus Wheaton, that's, that's a little nasty. <laughs> I think they um, traded with us to get Shamarco too. Like that was the first time the Browns and Steelers traded in like a hundred years or something like that. So Ray Rack here says, which rookie wide receiver is going to lay out when knowing this year leading directly to unsportsmanlike like penalty in retaliation? Ryan Thomas Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Lewis hey, says, I'm sick if y'all get online. <laughs> <laughs> 
just be sitting there like, y'all just di- what? Another one. <laughs> yeah, another LSU. Another yes. LSU was. Yeah, like, another yeah. LSU. You saw yeah. what Justin Jefferson said, right? That he was a little jealous. Yeah. That, Come on over, Jettas. And we got a mm-hmm. stop for you, my boy. Come on. I don't over. know if you have the the cap for what he's gonna command, but it's like right where LSU get a new version of Javar Chase and Justin Jefferson. Y'all get the draft one. Fuck out of here with that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 just get the next one okay <laughs> like yeah. what what you mean like how many good lsu wide receivers are you gonna be no no more dog y'all y'all tapped out y'all have enough y'all got jenna I mean, y'all, y'all got Je- y'all got jamar y'all good y'all good no more no more uh-uh. jeff lewis here says the Bengals are in this position but so is the rest of the afc north if they can if they can all stay healthy that is more important than any player they can get drafted. Yes, well, I mean, health is the main yeah, thing. Okay. By by the way, uh, I saw the Browns. The Browns was they didn't have nobody, and they still was going. Yeah, still the good. Man, defense can carry. Defense can carry. Gray <laughs> right here says Q. Is there a prospect the Browns can get that will make you do an emergency stream? An emergency stream. I guess day three. Because you're gonna be streaming day There's one. Nobody day like one. that, I think, that would like make me go crazy. I do have a list of guys where I'm like, oh yeah, fuck all that trading back. We just gonna take a pick here if this dude gets here. Like, um, if, if like Tyler Guyton is there at 54, sprint. Okay, <laughs> we are taking the pick. I don't care what else we get in that draft. We are taking the pick because that, that is a first round prospect at, at a left tackle. What, what about uh Tavondre Sweat Q? Hey man, I was thinking about this because I was like, oh, he's off my board after the whole DWI thing. And then I was looking at some tape on my guy McKinley Jackson. And look, I like McKinley Jackson. I think he's a fine <laughs> pick, but no way in hell am oh, I taking him in day three over to Vadre Sweat. If Tavadre Sweat is there at fourth through fifth through sixth, I'm taking him. Like yeah. it's worth the risk. <laughs> right? like, it's worth burning the pick. Huh? How many picks you burn in the third, fourth, fifth round? Tavondre uh, Sweat. Tavondre Sweat is literally the only caps. <laughs> draftable nose tackle in this in this draft like mckinley jackson like he was saying like he's like a he's like a fifth or sixth round he's not starting this season like he's gonna take some he's time. an effort guy like he's a guy that you're gonna love in camp and then fans are gonna fall in love with in preseason because he's a great high motor dude that's gonna get a sack or get a bunch of sacks in the preseason and look good in training camp but he got one move right now which is that bull rush to andre <laughs> sweat uh yeah, like he wasn't unguardable at the senior bowl, but he had moments where you're like, yeah, ain't nobody like that right here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, he did this thing to, um, what's his name? Because it's a really good, oh, Bo Limmer. Bo Limmer, who was really good at the senior bowl, center prospect. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure the Ravens are looking at him. He pushed that man's kneecaps back and put him flat on his ass. <laughs> I could not believe what I was watching. I was like, Ugh. so yeah, I get it. People down on Tavondre Sweat, and I think he did everything wrong in this pre-draft process. So there's a chance he might fall to day four. I mean, day three. But let me tell you something, dog. It stops with me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, I'm taking Tavondre day. Three. So, so that will be the like the Perry I'm Winfrey. Emergency stream. Mm-hmm. Even though this time it would be better for Perry, for Tavondre because Perry I went free went into a defensive tackle room that had no veterans. He's now Tavondre Sweat would fairly go into like a defensive tackle room that Shelby Harris, uh, Miles. and a bunch of other a oh, bunch of other tackles. veterans. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like a bunch like th- three other veterans there. So like a better chance that he develops properly. Um, and the stuff that he has an issue with is kind of like okay, he made a a dumbass decision with the DUI or yeah. that man overweight. But honestly, I don't know. Oh, sorry. 65. <laughs> like I, what's he, what's he going to do at 355, bro? He looks fine at 360. <laughs> so. By the way, the Sharif rights, you saw that there's a warrant now for his arrest. It's kind of crazy. The Sharif rights. Yeah. Rashid, sorry. Rashid, Rashid rights. 
Where she the, the Chiefs receiver. Oh, 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 the Chiefs receiver. Yeah. I was like, Brandon Rice? No, no, no. Rasheed Rice, the Chiefs receiver. <laughs> you know they cut him, and oh, now they're so – yeah, the Chiefs cut him. Wait, wait, the Chiefs cut him? Yeah, they was all over the, the thing. Wait, I thought they were sticking it out with them. I thought they cut him. Let me check. Let me double check that. Are you sure? Did this just happen? No, nah, I don't think they cut him yet. They didn't. They didn't cut him, man. He's still on the Chiefs. Oh, I, I thought. I thought they cut yeah, him. They My bad. Rasheed Rice, Rasheed Rice was like their best receiver last last season. Okay, their best no. receiver wears number fifteen. And you got you got to think about that history, man. Come on now, guys. This is the Chiefs now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Griffo here also asks how similar is Marvin Harris Jr. to his father. You know, it's you very crazy. Like yeah. It's very crazy. The one attribute that I will say that Harrison has, like I said, uh, the key for another see the guys are talking. This guy talks a lot. You, you, he has all the swag. I, I haven't watched the game, but I hear all the rhetoric. I hear I seeing all of the, the stuff that he's doing, right? Very diva with all hey. receivers. I'll say right? that, buddy. Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Sr. He ain't talk that much, you know. Yeah, he doesn't talk. <laughs> but, he was about that but that's the thing that scares you. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, but my point is that Junior his, doesn't his talk much was, either. His dad was like, like a gangster. He was like quiet and like you would never think this, yeah. but just do some Googles on Marvin Harrison Sr. And he was crazy. And then he had Pete Manning, which is kind of you know. Anyway, uh, I think the whole Peyton the Marvin thing kind of shaded how people looked at Marvin Harrison and they kind of look at him kind of like, oh, that's Peyton's best friend, Marvin Harrison. No, nah, that's a man for Philly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a man who owns businesses on the south side of Philly that he protects himself. Okay. Exactly. That's what people said. Like, he is the bodyguard at his own nightclub in Philly. Yeah. That's tell you all you need to know. About Senior. What you mean, security? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll give you the pat down right now. Uh-uh. Imagine going to a club and you getting patted down by Marvin Harrison Senior. Like that's like, insane. imagine trying to sneak out to Marvin Harrison Senior's your dad. <laughs> like, you know you get caught. So I imagine that Marvin Harrison Jr. probably is really good at all this stuff. Like, yeah. like, I don't think he had a lot of room for, like, to be making these kind of mistakes. But yeah, I mean, like play style wise, I think Junior's a better athlete, um, mm-hmm. bigger, better athlete, yeah. um, just more explosive. Like they're still very good route runners, both of them, mm-hmm. very precise. Junior's a little bit better with the ball in his hands. Um, yeah. You know, it, it it's tough because like it's tough to describe it without trying to sound, make a Hall of Famer not sound like he's not dope, <laughs> but yeah. like. Marvin had a very Marvin had a very different skill set. Like Marvin was made it off straight hustle. Like you know, he he was undersized a little bit, but his There's son, no his quitting. Son got some gifts. Okay, <laughs> like, there's no quitting with him. Okay, that being said, uh, before we go to our mock draft, uh, I think Q already alluded to who will be his player fifty six that he will just will like. Uh, which is Guyton, right? Is that it? Well, let me ask you is that the player that you think realistically can be there? And you guys, oh, no, there's no chance he gets there, but if he does, because like draft stuff happens, second uh, round has been blessed to y'all. People there just fall to the second round. Well, I keep an eye out, you know, JOK, Grant Delphi. Yeah, you know, yeah. hey, look, this is my Grant Delphi, like it, it, even, it, even it, order, honestly, really him right? or Kingsley, uh, Sumatatia. Let me make sure I pronounce that correctly, Kingsley. Kingsley. Sumatia. Yeah, Sumatia. Those are your uh, two. F- huh? Those are the two that you would like a 56? Those are 54? two. I'm like, hey, man, I'm not moving. Like, if they're mm-hmm. there. Now, if they both there, like, I'll have a really tough decision to make if him, Keon Coleman, and Tyler Guyton's there. It'd be really hard to, like, be looking to Keon and be like, nah, dog. <laughs> Because I've seen that work with the shot. Like this, I've seen you. Like I look at that. I'm like, that's D Hop. Like that can work. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what that's what I would like to And then people worried about his 40 time, but that broad jump and uh well, he has his broad jump and his 10 yard split. So he's mm-hmm. explosive, he can separate. I'm not really worried about what his long speed is. Yeah, so so the thing is. Uh, so I haven't watched the combine in the past couple of years. Um, I watch straight pay, go watch games, right? 
and QE Uncommon Nasty. And the, and the main thing is, somebody told me his, he ran a slow 40. I don't know how slow it was, but like I heard it. Oh, that, that is slow. But the thing is, will you, what I envision him is, he is a, let me box you out, let me grab this ball, at, at worst in the NFL, right? He has the length, he has the, the reach, he has the hands to do all that, right? At worst. Um, but I still believe he can get separation. He, he might not get away from you that much, but he still has separation. Um, I think he'll be good. He will be good. But anyway, so Ace, you're pick a no 16. Uh, we're pick 18. 18. Who do you think realistically could be there that you will love for them to draft? Man, it's there's a lot of options that could be there. I don't know if you want to say realistically because. The draft is just a bunch of people that can be there. Like I yeah. could say realistically, J.C. Latham, but now seeing you know some of the visits that he's having, I don't think J.C. Latham is going to be there. Uh, Brian Thomas Jr. I think could be there. Uh, Troy Fatanu is a guy that could be there. Like it, it really depends because there's a bunch of different scenarios on things that can happen with which guys could could come available depending on a run, depending on if corners go, edges go, if four quarterbacks go. So there's a lot of things that could happen. I do think you think Talisi Fuaga is going to be there. Nah, I don't. I think Fuaga is too good. I think he like it's a possibility. I probably put, I probably said that's like a twenty percent chance of happening because I could see him like right after Joe Out going. Like if there's going to be a run on tackles, he'd be that next guy. And I think the Bengals will be picking from like the third or fourth tackle possibly at that time really probably like fourth or fifth tackle honestly because these these tackles at the top are pretty good um so i just think fuaga if he is there they better run up to the podium and take him, <laughs> he is, he's to me he's like the second best tackle in this in this draft class um another I, guy that that people were talking very high of him and after the season was over i see him dropping in mocks is him who talisi yeah I it feel doesn't like, make sense too because the senior bowl was good. Yeah, that's my I don't, point. I don't see why, man. If you watch the film on him, I don't see why you would be like, yeah, I don't know about him. Like he's got the best feet in my opinion in the draft. What's Super like, athletic. Six? Um, Byron Murphy. I feel I don't know if Byron Murphy's gonna be there though. Like, but before it was a lot of Byron Murphy to the Vikings. Now it seems like the Vikings want to get a quarterback. So yep. I don't know who else was really talking about Byron Murphy outside of them. Um, I'm gonna say it, man. Like, if if one team doesn't pick Brock Bowers, he could be there at 18. Like, I really, I really do feel like Brock Bowers is a guy, given the tight end position, given that he doesn't fit that many teams. Like, if a team decides to go in another direction, I think he could fall to 18. I think he, I think it's probably like a, I probably say like a 25 percent chance of Brock Bowers being available at 18 because tight end is just always like a tricky kind of position. Yep. Uh, but I think Bengals fans, for the most part, I think the favorite would probably be Troy Fatanu. I think you'd even get some people that would take Latham. I think most Bengals fans will want an offensive lineman. I don't think okay. like, I think Brian Thomas is a real consideration. I don't think Bengals fans would like that because they'd be like, oh, they're negating taking a tackle, even though you could get one in the second round. But I think if there is a receiver that they would take, it would be Brian Thomas. And then I think uh, Byron Murphy would be a possibility. But I think out of all of them, if Troy Fatano is there, which I think he might be, just because there's that whole, oh, he's a guard, he's a tackle. So, like, I feel like that's going to be at play. I think they would take Troy Fatano for sure. So I was watching uh, a mock draft of CBS, and I wanted to look for it, and I found it. They have, which I think is crazy. Look, if I can get this guy the second or third, uh, I'm excited. Keon Coleman in the fourth round. Fourth round. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not. Yeah, him. I saw. A, I saw a mock where they had the Browns getting him in the third round. I was they like, must oh. be thinking of of the other Florida State <laughs> receiver because that no Keon <laughs> Coleman. No, there are people yeah, hyping up. Not Jaheim Bell. What's the tall one? Tall can't catch. Uh, um. The six seven dude. Wait, you're, you're, yeah, I'm talking about the six seven dude, Wilson. Uh, yeah, oh, Wilson. Johnny Wilson. Yes, yeah, but he's I don't like Auden Tate, that. dog. Like he's not, he's not, he's a tight end. He's really a tight end for real. 
He's a tight end that they never felt yeah. comfortable putting at tight end in college, which worries me. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've seen that man try to catch like a slant. It's horrifying. Like for somebody that's six seven and he dribbles these slants. Like you know who he is? Remember Hakeem Butler? He plays in the mm-hmm. UFL now for the yeah. Battle Hogs. And like when you see him in the UFL, you're like, oh my God, look at the great athlete. He can run. But there's a reason he doesn't stick in the NFL. It's because he can't catch consistently. Like, especially when there's that kind of pressure in the middle. And that's kind of where I'm at with him. Like, I'm not a big John. I think people just see six, seven and get excited and and think that they they can fix everything else. But um if he could catch, he could catch. He would be able to catch by now, right? Like this is something he would have learned. He's six seven. He's been playing yeah. wide receiver his whole yeah. life. Like, but this CBS mock draft had me mad because they had us a picking a DL first round, a <laughs> linebacker in the second round, and oh. another DL in the third round. I'm like, okay, no receivers and no O linemen. What are we doing here? Like, I you might be seeing me lose my mind if that happens. Yeah, like, uh, Sonny's like, it's the committee. <laughs> like I'm, I'm all for the D, D tackles and and, and um an edge, but I I need my right y'all tackle. Need more D tackles, y'all already got. Y'all, did y'all got a uh, Travis behind? Yeah, Travis. Travis. Yeah, no, but he's Travis. Is gonna is the backup. Oh, behind no tackle Brandon. of Pierce. Oh, Brandon Michael Pierce. Pierce. Michael yeah. Pierce. Y'all got Michael Pierce. Yeah, yeah, and then we have Washington and Maravique yeah, y'all and Urban. It. We have big guys. Yeah, y'all need y'all need edges. We need edges, exactly. And but we usually this ain't get a great class for edges. It's not. There's a couple of guys that I will. You gonna end up drafting Marshawn Nealon like in the second round? I'll be sick. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think like I'll be good drafting an edge in the fourth slash fifth round. Just you know, at that point, if 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 you think somebody has potential, but yeah. no. But 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 look, the Ravens. What is this draft good for? Tackles and wide receivers. The Ravens they right now what? Tackle some wide receivers in a corner. Yeah. And the depth the edge in the next draft. You yeah. Know? Yeah. F it. Anyway, I was just surprised when I saw Ken Coleman. You know yeah, how Ravens edge cool. rushers are in their contract year. They turn into different players for the rest of their career. Yeah. That Ravens so, contract year. <laughs> so Owen, Owen could be great this year. And then you let him go and he can do his thing. Um, then he'll be in the Browns for like Ray Rack here said Drew Holiday just got four years, 135 mil from Boston. I just saw that too. That that is that is a lot of money. That was a lot of a lot of cake. Did he got traded to Boston? Yeah, when they yeah. went for it? he got traded because they the 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 Bucks traded for Dame, Dame and then yeah. that move Drew. Both are a disaster, by the way. They, they are a disaster. It's the they chemistry, really man. Doc Rivers, and they really thought that was going to cook. Doc Rivers hasn't been good since the Big Three. He's worse than the last coach. Was Doc Rivers really good in the Big Three? And well, in the Big Three, I think what happened was there were three well, veterans that knew how to play with each other. Prime Ray Allen. Yeah. And Prime Paul Pierce. And, and Rondo. Best behavior, year. Rondo. Who did they beat in 09? Oh, was in the Lake, Lakers? Oh, don't rub that in, Q. Don't rub oh, that in. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, they beat the Lakers on the tail end of a three feet. They, they beat Paul Gasol down, man. They KG abused that, that was man. by the time y'all got there. It was, we kind of knew what it was. We, we, Andrew we, Bynum we, we, had kind of been exposed. But, but no, no, <laughs> Bynum, Bynum got hurt. So yeah. then Paul Gasol had to play the five, and then KG just bullied him the whole series. It was nasty. Y'all gonna make well, those were game. good series. Well, That's what's good play, basketball. Man. And yeah, the so Lakers are making the play in. Hmm? You're saying the Lakers are making the play in? No, I've heard the Lakers are gonna be like the 10 seed, right? Yeah, I think that like honestly, like I think basketball this year has been really good, especially like from playing perspective. You're gonna get the Warriors and like really good teams. Um, they're like 10 deep out there. So like I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a good season. I think right now the Lakers are the AC, but the whole playoffs is going to be, in my opinion, like really entertaining because um, there's a lot of good teams in the East, as you know, Q. There's a lot of good teams in the West. So, hey, dog, nah, I would be pissed if I'm the Minnesota Timberwolves. I finally get this one seed. I finally get the respect I deserve. And Steph and Bron are looking dead at me. Steph and Bron, <laughs> Luka, Luka and Kyrie cooking up right now. Like, yeah. No, it's, it's, what a horrible year. Like, the play-in tournament has been awful for the one seed. I don't think people have acknowledged this enough. It's been bad for the one seed. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. You could get the worst matchup in the world if you were the one. Because then, like, 
a couple of one seeds get eliminated over the last couple of years. Yeah, I remember you like, remember the Heat? The Heat, the Heat made Heat. it in the tournament. They barely like Bron got somebody too, right? I know we got the Warriors one year, but I don't know if they were the one seed, but they were up like there. They, they, they sniped like it was like a team we know is not going like like the Jazz or some shit like that. But yes, that's true. It just makes it seem like it's just easier for for one of them fraudulent like one, two, three seeds to get yeah. sniped in the first. By the way, you know how I know the Bucks were in that good ace? They lost to the Wizards. You can't listen to the Wizards. You can tell me you're a serious team right now. Hey, did the, did the Timberwolves finally beat the Wizards? Because I know Anthony Edwards said he's the, never beaten the Wizards. This, this guy went off. <laughs> we we start this first quarter like up by 20. I'm like, okay, we can't miss. Oh, yeah, the Lakers got Memphis last year. Yeah. So anyway, let's go, let's go mock it up here real quick. So we have been trying to change the simulator thing so we can have different outcomes all, all simulators do differently so we have the bengals they have four picks ravens have three Cleveland has two and the steelers have three four sorry i have the picks that um my guy j rock will prefer so i will have it there for when his time is so we'll, we'll get it started Hold on, did that name just say Drake May number one overall? Maybe. I know both of those guys are out. I don't know how can you watch who got picked. Oh, the, I think it's like if you control the speed of it. And I don't see the no, speed. Show no drafted players. Maybe there's a little switch there for. Nah, that's just for the board. Okay. Yeah, that's the board. Yeah. Yeah, duh. I was gonna say we're gonna have to. We might have to switch if they just had Drake May go number one. <laughs> okay, you can see it up there. All right. Mm, I'm a uh, damn. It's a lot of a lot of offers. I like mm-hmm. the offers better on this side. That's that, that Cowboys offer wasn't terrible. Whoa, you gonna give me all of that just to move what? back one spot? <laughs> What? It is the Chargers, so it is realistic that they do such a thing. Man. This is all next year. A first right. and second? Next year, yeah. So who's going to give you a whole right draft now? next year? Who do they want? Nah, I mean, I'm not Ooh, taking that. Hey, dog. That, 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 that one. 2020 first round son. pick might be the, the what? Draft. The first one? Um. Yeah, That. that's uh no. No, I'm not. I'm not taking that. Not taking that. Um, I will take that. Okay. Honestly, in real life, I would take that Patriots offer because you. Okay, reject first. and give me Brock Bowers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they they uh, wanted Murphy. That's who they traded up to get Murphy. Byron Murphy. Oh, they trying to replace uh their boy, Donald. Okay, so the Steelers, by the way, Steelers fan. Okay. I'm, just gonna... I'm sorry, Vito. They're taking Quinion Mitchell. You think yeah. so? Oh my God, yes. Nah, they give have him no... Mims, dog. Mims ahead. is who he wants. Give him Mims. Quinion is the best corner in this trap. They need a corner. Nah, man. They don't. They ignore corner, man. Go ahead and give him Quinion. <laughs> this is hate. This is hate. <laughs> get, get him a uh, Mary's Mims. Dog. Fa- Fashan was there. Hey, the Steelers don't draft well. What are we, what are we talking about? Deshaun is there. Do the right thing. Deshaun <laughs> is there. I'm going to go with Mims, Mims because Steelers fan, before you get oh, mad. Oh, be sick, dog. <laughs> like, what? That's what that. Give them Olu then. Go ahead. They can have Olu. <laughs> Not I give him Mims. My grab is ain't going to let y'all get quit, y'all. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I agree with you. Like in real life, if this happens, you there's no shot they don't take Quinn Yon Mitchell yeah. there. What the? What was that offer for Buffalo? Second, fourth, fifth, seventh, <laughs> bunch of shit in there. That's like the Ricky Williams offer, dog. They need a receiver. <laughs> Hold on, I want to see who's out there. Brock Bowers and an extra third round pick. Thank you very much. All right, who are you taking, Sonny? I don't know. This thing is freezing. As you can I see. cannot believe people got Patrick Paul in the top 100. What? That's nasty. 
He's terrible. Nate Wiggins is there. The man is a. I, I I really don't like him. By the way, I'll be what? sick if that's the receiver. Lad, I don't think like that him. has much to do with Lat McConkey's ability as a wide receiver. Look, or it's like Sonny's frustration with the Ravens. I'm, I'm not <laughs> saying he's a wide receiver. I'm not <laughs> saying he's as talented as this guy, but his play style, the way he plays, he looks like AB. Like, I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, is this the white version of AB? Like, the way that he moves, like the quickness and all of that. Who? Like hey, McConkey? So just like, hey, bro, you're not bringing another sub six footer in here, dog. I'm not no. about to do this with y'all. <laughs> okay. No. Yeah, they have burnt yeah. that bridge. They Lab, Lab might bridge. go first, dog. Lab might go first. You think so? I'm just saying, just go look at the highlights, bro. If you don't feel Dude, like, I'll be that. sick. Like, I would have taken him. Look at him at 29. Hmm. I'll be so excited, and then he gets drafted by stupid Detroit. Man, you call right there. This, this draft website kind of crazy. I ain't going to Hey, who, who's that guy y'all had on the, that went to the Giants that y'all gave that uh, extension to the old left, right tackle for the Bengals? Uh, you uh, talking about um, Trent? Trent Brown? No, 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 no. I'm talking about somebody. I think he was uh, – I think y'all hated him. Oh, you talking about Jonah? Uh, I'm gonna go with Wiggins. No, not Jonah Williams. Him. It was a brother. Uh, Bobby Hart. Bobby Hart. Bob Hart. Patrick Paul is a poor man's Bobby Hart. <laughs> Damn, hey, Bengals. Bro. This draft moved fast. All right, Four, um, six, reject six. all of that. I'm rejecting it all. We gotta Zane take Zane a lineman Zane. because Bengals Nation is gonna kill me. Mm, don't do that. Um, no, nah, you got Brandon Fist right there. Y'all got y'all need it. Let me see tackle. I might go with Kingsley. I'm thinking Kingsley, man. Patrick Paul. He's nah, pretty good. We good on Patrick. Let me see the tackles. I I hit it. It's just it moves. It's moving extremely slow. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Give me Kingsley, man. Sorry, Q. I got I got I got a appease Bengal Nation. We got the tackle, y'all. We got the tackle and Brock Bauer. Okay. So, so the next pick. That uh, he wants Corley, Malachi Corley, or or um, Western Kentucky. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Malachi Corley. Uh, let me see the receivers. So essentially, he wants a receiver. There he is. Yeah, he gonna he gonna pass Ricky Pearsall. Hey, I'm just he, he, this is what he's <laughs> this is what he writes to me. <laughs> Uh, Keith, there's some traits that involve you going to third and fourth. All right, we're going to reject these. Uh, let's see. Wide receiver, Ricky Pearsall is right there. So is Jermaine Byrne. Let me see offensive tackle. And then we'll go interior next. It's your boy, oh, man, Patrick, Patrick Paul. Paul. <laughs> Scroll down. <laughs> Where's Christian Jones at? Okay, so they don't have him that high on this board. Interior offensive line. It's got both of them selected. Just one. Okay, here we go. Scroll down. Zach Center. What do they got? Did they already have my other boy from Michigan go? Um, um, yeah, because there's no way he's all the way down there. There's no shot. So he's gone. All that's left is Zach Center. All right. Let's go. Man, I wish I had better offers than what I got because I would definitely be willing to trade back here. Let me see defensive line. Is my call on the board? Braden Fizz, no, no. Tavondre Sweat's there. No, I'm good. <laughs> not the second round, though. Uh, Michael Hall is there at 69. He's not going to be there at 85, so you might have to consider that. Ruke's there. Ruke Aroro. Really not going to use. This is tough. This is tough. Let me go back to all. Just hit all. Takes a minute. I'm hating it. This draft is brought to you by Netscape.com. <laughs> there you go. I can't. Why is everybody so high on Braden Fitz? He's like 30 years old. Because of that. Because of that combine. Oh yeah, the good combine. Yeah. Okay. Like, oh my god, let's see. Um, do I feel like I can get a tackle later? I do think I can get one at 85, even though I'm probably not gonna get Roger. I feel like I can get somebody I like. 
The interior, I could feel like I could push that down, but wide receiver, I don't think I can kick that can down the road. I'll get Ricky. Yeah, get Ricky. Yeah, give me Ricky. Okay. I'm hating this draft so far. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't pick Nate Wiggins by choice. <laughs> no. No, there are none of the tackles that I like. They're all gone. I was like, that sounds like a pick you had to make under duress. Like, yes. I was fucking Nate Wiggins. Because like. I was on, like, tackle or receiver, and then the tackle that I wanted, none of them were there. Mm, I, that's I'm the very... worst. That's the worst. When you show up, you like, oh, they all gone. Cool. Yeah. I, not even people that I thought maybe would be early second. And then the receivers. That's about to be me if I try to stretch this tackle thing out to like 153. <laughs> yeah. Well, I might do Ooh, Tez Walker? Him. No. What's wrong with Tez, man? Man, it's, it's, my Tez straight now. Nah. Hey, don't you dare think about it. No, I'm thinking <laughs> about him. Blake but, Fisher? Oh, yeah, you can do it. No, not Blake. Uh, Wilson Garner. Go ahead, man. Don't, don't, like Javon Foster is comparable. Him? Oh, yeah. Is that no, a plus? I don't know. Was it, is that good? <laughs> like, like one of like one of the things that I, I I will be okay if the Ravens can sign both tackles from Washington. Mm. One for the mm. following year. Mm. Yeah, don't love that. No, no, no. Get Javon Foster, man. He had an excellent season. <laughs> bro, I promise you. <laughs> the FF score is crazy. What the, where? What score? His, his PFF, I, was, I was just BSing. I was just like, his PFF score is amazing, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, this. you think Missouri got all the way up to the Sugar Bowl this year by accident? No, it was Javon Foster. Dude. I'm going I'm to go with Sweat. You would go that's Sweat? No, that's that's reach, man. That's Honestly, Ruke, Ruke, Roro, I mean, <laughs> that's a Baltimore Raven. Run uh, defender, uh, stout. I'm gonna go with the with the tackle because we need a right tackle. All right, we go ahead, get Javon Foster, man. If this thing reacts at any given point, <laughs> he's run out of time. Skip his pick. <laughs> Skip his pick. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, that would piss me off. Oh, that would. <laughs> I, I like him. Yeah, I know. That would. That would. Ooh. I can live not getting with Roger Rosengard, but man, I, I don't know if I can live. No, nah, forget all of those, Sonny, just for time constraints. Let's see. Um, let me see all. Yeah, let's see all. That's right. You have a, the 83 pick, too. Ace, you had like yeah. almost back to back. It was like, yeah, let's give you not only just Brock Bowers, let's just throw in the extra third. I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah D lineman. Oh, boy. Let me come on over, Trey Benson. Come on over to the Natty, my boy. Yeah, oh, slide over this way. That's a good pick. Slide over this way. Reject all of that. All right. Um, let me see wide receivers. There's no shot, but I think Jermaine Burton is still there. We probably wouldn't take him, unfortunately, because of the the, the character concerns. Oh. There you go. Oh, Brendan Rice! Brendan Rice, come on down, my boy. Oh, come man, on, I love Natty. Brendan Rice. That's the other guy I like a come lot. Put a natty, my boy. I'm fine. Uh, with, I'm fine with that pick. I, I think he can't catch. Oh, like, I, I like him. I like him. Brendan Rice is incredible when you see him like in person too, because like you see him run routes. It's just the, I don't know if Caleb Williams broke him because Caleb throws at all those angles, so he mm -hmm. just tracks other QBs as ball weird. But man, I see he was horrible at tracking down those deep balls at senior ball. That was the only thing with him. KQ. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? Old Let's tackle. Old tackle. Well, I know Roger's not there because Sonny's an asshole. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this I, I not like how the ball has for, uh, fallen for us. I don't love this either. I wish we had a better trade offer, to be honest with you. I don't just love taking 54 and 85. Blake but Fisher's there, Javon Foster. Honestly, if I had, like, the whole draft, Christian Jones would be, like, somebody that I would want to maneuver back into the fourth round to get because I think he's a good tackle prospect. 85's a bit rich, to be honest with you, for him, but um, we'll, we'll come back to that because there's nobody there. Let me see what defensive tackle is available. 
Because if Ruke is there, I'll go Ruke. Ruke is not there. Um, so no Ruke. Um, tight end. Sanders, I was about to say, if Sanders is still there, that's crazy. Sanat is cool, though. Sanat's cool, but that's more of a, if you trade back, you can get a Ben Sanat. Not necessarily you want to get Ben Sanat right there. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's fuck it. Let's just take um, – let's take the tackle. Let's go tackle, and then we're going to go Christian Jones here. They're going to give me a horrible grade for this. <laughs> oh, I hate this because I don't have a receiver yet. Oh, let's see what's available. I don't want to see. Uh, That's the thing. I don't want to see. Connection, Johnny you know? Wilson might be there, man. You get a big body. I'm sure Johnny Wilson's there. <laughs> oh, trade back. Sure Johnny would take that over some of those five eight receivers that they got. Hey, look, at least he won't be small. <laughs> yeah, but last year I wanted Johnston for a moment, and then I watched his tape, and I was like, no, no not this dude. And yeah, I don't know if somebody who's six seven and plays like him is going to do anything but raise your blood pressure because you're going to be like, yeah. he's, he's just a tall Chase Claypool that can't catch. <laughs> like, okay, him. He's like 5'10", I think. Malik is like 5'8", dog. Johnny yeah, Wilson. yeah. Jamari <laughs> Threat. These are all receivers. Oh, I have to take Johnny Wilson. <laughs> this is horrible. It, this is this is oh, literally man. trash. I I can't you have my trash, right? right? Like, Come on down. No, everybody no. else is short. There's no way. <laughs> no, I, I refuse. Because I pick him in one of our mock drafts, and then I go, I went and check him out, and I'm like, oh my god, this is this dude is like next level bad. <laughs> Come on, he's six seven, elite speed, you know. Dude, this is this is not good. Hey man, all you got your boy. Is, who? Spencer? Spencer mm. Rattler. That's a, a guard. Do y'all need a guard? Dominic Pugh needs a guard. Yeah, let me see the guard. Booker, you know. And look, in all seriousness, Dominic Pugh is probably your best choice here because he he's a guard. He he's listed at tackle. He's gonna be a guard. He's a says uh a guard. Okay. Yeah, it's probably. He just bad. sounds crazy as a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Huh? I might take him. His name just sounds crazy as an offensive lineman. Like there's Bengals. Ooh. Out Ooh. There. See, Bo Lim- Bo Bo Limmer's there too. He's pretty Ooh. good. That's intriguing. Let me see defensive line. Dude, this website's so slow. Yep, it is. The last time I used this one. Damn, it's moving slow. Okay. Uh, this. Hey, man, I just got to acknowledge if the hey. Bengals get Kingsley Sumatia and y'all get Roger Rosengarten, I'm kicking somebody in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> let, me, let me see corner real quick, Sonny. I hit it. There you go. Ooh, Renardo Green. You, you want me to get? You want me to get him? Give me Renardo Green, man. Give me Renardo Green, man. Let's All right, do it. Do you, one more pick. Who who he want to? Who does he want you to get? No, no more. He has no more person. In oh, here. no quarterback then. QB. Yeah, Spencer Rattler. It's Spencer Rattler time. Is it time for his fall to stop? Spencer Rattler. Rattler. Yeah, that's a pick that keeps you in QB hell right there. There's the pick. So for Steelers, uh, Mary Smith, which by the Steelers, they had all the tackles. I don't, I'm don't not exactly sure how this draft fall. <laughs> uh, Macaulay Court <laughs> and then Mason Smith and Spencer Rattler. Cincinnati Bengals, you get Bowers, Samatia, okay. Benson, <laughs> Rice, and Green. Hold I hate that I like their draft. <laughs> Hold on, go. Oh, damn. <laughs> I was going to take a screenshot real quick. Thank oh, I'll send you. I'll send you. you. You got it? Yep, I got it. And yeah, then, I hate how much I like that draft. <laughs> yeah. I hate mine. Uh, and then Ricky Parcel and uh, Christian Jones for the Browns. And then the Ravens. 
I like Nate Wiggins. I just I want a receiver. I couldn't pick any receiver in this damn draft. Wiggins, I like the pick there. Puny's not bad. I think we're good in guard, but Puny's not bad. Anyway, so that's it. That's it. Next week we'll be back here. Uh we will be it's gonna be the last show before the, the draft. Um, so make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Give us the grades. You can torch me, Ravens fans. I'm not in love with this mock draft either. Um, and then we'll see y'all next week. Peace out.